random cares that we don't expect, but the only constant is 8-bit man. Shout out to 8-bit yeah. man, dude. He's, <laughs> he's the only one that has to make six. Shout out to 8-bit man. Oh, I see him, man. One of these players is going to be facing up against 8-bit man. We'll see who it is, man. Andrik representing his home, representing, of course, Mexico and Brazil, because he's from Brazil originally. Of course, versus Frog. What if Las Vegas is fine as bandit that's out there? Wait, 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 are you sure that's Andrik that's from Brazil, or was it the, the Bowser player? I can't remember. I you know, know what? Bowser. Andrik, Andrik from Mexico. It says Mexicali in his Twitter bio, so that's all I know. Anyways, down, down air, back air. Quick stuff from Andrik yeah. here. 90%. Either way, there's a lot of international players that can enter this tournament. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just, yeah. Oh. Is that a bass within punish? Yo. That was nuts. I I never see that that much. And it's like so optimal to do <laughs> against Mayo. Crazy thing here for Frog. Not a lot of Falcon practice out in Vegas. Not a lot of Falcon practice there. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of Falcon practice versus actual good Falcons in general. Like, yeah. you maybe no. Oh my God, these stocks are just blowing away way too fast. <laughs> or even two minutes. Oh. I like that double jump there opportunity, but the problem is he landed with down there. He's not even coming. Y'all, y'all stop. He almost just got obliterated by an up air knee. It probably wouldn't kill Bayo at 50, but I'm not gonna take any chance at this point. Ooh, what Frog. a call out from Andrik, dude. He went for the down air, he waited to see how Frog was gonna react, see if he could get a punish on that one. You can tell that Andrik is honestly looking for oh. Frog's habits here, and he's looking to just punish them every time. He's got a two stock lead. Frog finally with some burst damage here. Can he convert that to a stock though? Okay. Oh no, he doesn't get the tech into the witch switch, unfortunately for him. Yeah, and you see that up smash from Andrik because the hitbox is really, really, really big in front of it and disjointed, but it's also really good to call out Bales for going for something like Afterburner Kick, which we saw when he got the first stock. That's big, yeah, that's big for a frog. Not enough though. Yeah, he kind of saved Andrik. Yeah, he saved him in the end. Oh. Did you see that? He, he crouched out. under the ABK and upbeat him. Wait, I need to see the replay on this. I'm, I'm watching it. That was insane. He, on, like, that's what I'm saying. Look at yeah, the way. Yeah, he crouched under the ABK. <laughs> he crouched under the ABK and up, you know. He, that's Damn. Like, he's looking to see. I like. like look at the way he's playing, man. He was calling out the afterburner kick. He calls out the afterburner kick with that crouch. That you just saw as a punish, he, crushed, oh, he definitely punished after birdie kick with up smash because of its disjoint and its ability to actually also be an anti at the same time. Yeah, it's incredible. That was that was mad smart. Yeah, it's just talking about him going for his uh his jab to roll read knee, which he actually did get the roll read, but he just missed the knee. Yeah, and, and he's, he's been... actually been going for that double jab mix up a lot. Just mm -hmm. to bait people to like roll, and he's actually been getting some super good punches like that. Yeah, that was good to hold the shield on the heel slide because you can always punish that. If she commits for the full slide, she'll do the kick that sends you upward. But so far, Frog has not gone for that, and that's good for Andrew to go for the grab out of shield. Nice tech for. Uh... Oh. Never mind. It wasn't nice. <laughs> he just died anyway. He, he did a really good tech in to avoid getting jab locked, but then Andrik was like, okay, well, I'll just combo you on the other side of the stage instead. Man. See, so Frog is going for these wish twists off stage because normally they're very good against Falcon's recovery, but Andrik's actually saving his double jump at a really good time. And, uh, calling out frog <gasps> that parry punish was almost insane but here's the witch time that parry punish would have been here. insane that parry punish would have yeah. been insane we'll take it for frog anyway yeah falcon's recovery in this game actually isn't as bad as it was in the previous game this drift is uh, a little bit better and the grab hitbox on his upbeat is really huge so if you don't Time your uh, edge guard right, you'll just get 
ground first. Yeah, good use oh. of down, so, down so because the one thing you're going to see Frog go for is Witch Twist and then that specific low point of the stage. You don't want to risk the bounce from Afterburn to kick because it can be punished with down air. Yeah, Soap's actually also, yeah, he, he knows, even in a matchup outside of Bayo, he's really good at timing that down to that village. Nice. Oh, he gets both double jumps and yep. the forward air. Nice, Andrew, nice. Yeah, Andrew have to burn the up B really, really early to try to escape and land, but unfortunately it's not enough. Frog finally with even stocks here. That's the full heal slide to the up tilt. Can you get this full conversion with the burst damage? Nice, nice. Oh, but he got caught in the landing lag. Yeah, okay, he only took a throw there. That's probably good for him, but oh, these hits are starting to add up now. Yeah, yeah if I were, really dangerous. If I were a frog, man, I'd be careful where I afterburn to kick on the stage. Oh. What a good tech. Look for the quick punish. Oh, you have a punish on the lag? Oh. Bayo is in so much landing lag from the specials if they all whiff like that. Dang. Frog went for it all with that double witch twist. He did. Because he, he just did. thought he would be able to snag the jump. And yeah, so he just. Sorry. Andrick has got around it. Yeah. That's why SDIing is so important versus Bayo. Because <laughs> if you SDI and they preemptively try to follow up without paying attention to that, you can punch them really hard. If I were a frog, I'd be careful with that afterburner kick landing. Because that's been, like you said, the landing lag is not good. And the way that Andrew just calls that out with up smash, we even saw him duck under and go for a B. Like that shows a yeah. lot. So if I were Frog, man, you gotta change up that 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 strategy because you know what, Andrik has that textbook read and the homework already done. Yeah, honestly, I don't even think Frog's playing super bad at all. It's just a few bad decisions, like overextending on his combo. It's costing him a lot. Yeah. But I, I don't blame him because man, like he's really just trying to get as much damage as he can when he gets a hit. But I think for for this matchup right now, he kind of has to play the uh, I don't know what to call it. Like get his not necessarily like super guaranteed hit, and then just kind of wait to see what Andrik does. Yeah, and then try and to follow from there. I think you said that's the best way to honestly put it, right? Because you can see that even Andrik does that. You saw him with his jab mix up there. He'll wait for Frog's response afterwards. He look at how spot how Frog is gonna land. Even if you see him just throw like a random up smash, it's not really random. It's him understanding how Frog might land. That's, a, full, that's a good job. Yeah, that, so tough. Man, he got that just for backing him out of getting comboed. Probably another scenario where he should really look at how Andrik is SDIing his specials right now. Mm -hmm. He's just reversing him a lot. Yeah, Frog is getting reversed a lot. Finally, up to back in here, Frog with even thoughts, but you know, Andrik has never fallen behind. Not the full heal slide. Mm, heal see, slide. see, that's the thing here. It's the time that he's got his burst damage, he goes for full heal slide, but if he doesn't go for full heal slide, Andrik gets the punish. Finally, Frog able to break through with Afterburner Kick here, but still 88% to the man's name. There it is. Okay. See? This time you get that full punish, and it's really good off stage here because oh. it beats out the timing on the air dodge. Wall claim to the down air. Right. What a play here from Frog. Putting out all the stops he oh. can just to claim the stock. Yeah, unfortunately for him, though, he's going to miss that wish twist off stage. Ooh, went for the dare reverse E, but Fazer been actually saving Frog's life. Okay. There's another good wish twist. <gasps> Goes really early off stage again. Oh Man, no! Just, I don't know. He's not expecting Andrew to save his jump there. I guess. Nice. Goes high and uh, early to get to the stage first. If Frog could have done that witch twist the downer, he would have gotten the stock here. But tough spot to be in here, Andrew. For the downer, close. But for Frog to go for the up air knee, oh. what the bat within? Getting sent. But he he needs to get the stock, or else it doesn't matter. He's still yeah. down with much. Mm. Oh man, these what punishes! The double jab! 
fade out the roll. You didn't get the sweet spot back air, but the idea definitely there. Okay. Okay. Barely enough. All right, Frog needs he needs something big right now. Not not a hill slide though. <laughs> okay, he didn't get punished. It's fine. Thirty okay. percent here on Andrick. Frog looking to just land safely. Falcon oh. kick. This is Frog off the stage. This is where Andrick wants Frog here because he can punish him afterwards. Down tilt, nice. Nice. That's big for Frog here for the combo extension. 82 here. Frog slowly climbing back. Nice. Caught the grab in there too. Ooh, oh. that was scary. That was really scary. Barely, barely missed. And his wish time got beat out. That's unfortunate. Definitely caught up that Falcon kick. Oh, I love this landing from Frog. I love this landing. He doesn't overcommit with Afterburner oh, kick, but unfortunately, Andrick sees this man in the sky, raises him in up air, and that's going to be it. 3 0 from Andrick. 3-0. Really, really good. Uh, really good awareness of this matchup, honestly.